In Nigeria's eastern Taraba state, tension has been brimming since the November 7th decision to nullify the governor's election. Hajia Aisha El Hassan was elected to take over from Darius Ishaku. Shortly after the decision by the state governorship election petitions tribunal, at least seven people died in reported shootouts and other attacks. An appeal is now underway. Earlier, I was joined by Daniel Bowala, legal practitioner and member of the Honourable Society of Lincolns in London. Take a look. The State Governorship Election Petitions Tribunal, they annulled the vote on the 7th of November. Right. In your opinion, could you tell us some of the reasons behind that decision? Right. Um, the, the, I have read the judgment and um, the tribunal based the reasons in three ways. First of all, they said that uh, the testimony of the INIC officer who uh, testified that there was no primaries conducted in uh, Taraba, that the primaries was conducted in Abuja and therefore it was not in compliance with the law. Then also they raised the issue of section 140 sub 2 of the Electoral Act, you know, what it provides and how they differ from that provision. They also raised the issue of um, qualification and nomination of a candidate. So the tribunal arrived at the conclusion that um, there was that the PDP as a party mm -hmm. did not sponsor a candidate and in the circumstance the election was nullified and then they gave the order to the person who scored the highest uh, vote in um, the election which now has been challenged and they are going okay. to the court of appeal if it was flawed why in the first place was he allowed to stand as a candidate right you see the, the electoral act is clear First of all, in our laws in Nigeria, you have the provision of Section 65, 177 of the Constitution and Section uh, 78 of the Electoral Act. They provide for what amounts to qualification of a candidate, that you have to have a primaries in which delegate will vote for the candidate. And if he emerged the winner, then he can be presented by the party to the electoral body. That actually happened. There was a primaries. And the, although their contention is that the primary was not in the place where they wanted the primary to be done. But Court of Appeal this month delivered a judgment in Nigeria that states the presence of INEC officers in the, in, in the primaries does not really matter as long as there is a compliance with the provision of the Electoral Act where you notify INEC of the primaries coming up and you notify INEC whoever emerges as the winner. This is our candidate. And that actually happened. And what are the reasons for not holding fresh elections? And do you think that will eventually happen? Well, if the Court of Appeal uh, looked at the matter and decides that the tribunal was right in disqualifying but was wrong in not making an order for a fresh election, then the Court of Appeal will make an order for fresh election. But if the Court of Appeal decides that the tribunal was wrong in its law, then what the Court of Appeal will do is the Court of Appeal will reinstate Darius to the mandate that has been given to him by the people, and that means he remains the governor.